notice that cast is optional. So what if I only want to find the movies that have a cast? Some of them have, some of them don't have, right? So now, going back over here, I want to find the movies um, that just have cast. Okay, so that's how I say that. It's very simple. I want the movies that have a cast. Click go, and here's all the movies that have a cast. Actually, 14 out of the 15 have a cast. Now, let's look at this word cast here. Suppose inside of cast, and I can get it to tell me what's inside of cast, I want to find cast member. Now I'll find all the movies that have cast members under cast. And of course, since cast member is, is mandatory under cast, it'll be the same 14 items. But I want you to notice what I just did there. I started to build an X path. So the word cast was not the word cast. The word cast was an X path. And not only just an X path, but a relative X path, right? So it's the casts where the movie is the current node, where the movie is the context. So this right here is a relative X path. Relative to what? Relative to whatever came outside. And when I said earlier, at ID, you may not have thought about it, but that at ID is a child of the movie. It's not any old ID. It's the ID attribute that is a child of the movie. Okay, so this is a little hard to understand at first, but it's really important. That where clause uses relative X paths. So you start from the node that's just outside the movie. So let's play with this a little bit more. So I want to have one with a, cat, a movie that had a movie that has a cast. Uh, let's see. Let me think of a better one to do here. Uh, okay, I want a movie um, that has availability. Oops, availability equals, oops, it's availability, sorry, slash at avail, date avail. Now equals, and let me make sure I get the right one, February 2nd, 2002. And I'm going to put that value in single quotes. And there it is. I get just exactly that one. Now what am I getting, actually? Am I getting the date available? Am I getting the availability? Or am I going to get the movie? What do you think? When I execute this, what am I going to get? I should get the whole movie. Okay, so all of the stuff in the where clause does not affect what comes back, what's returned. It only affects the conditions under which it's returned. Okay, so there's two things going on here. The first one is what's returned. In this case, it's the movie. The second thing is, what are the conditions under which I will return a movie? And that's what's going inside of the, the square brackets. Okay, so let me, um, let, me, let me combine this one with the parent one, and we'll see, we'll see now a little bit better example of, um, uh, we'll see a little bit of better example of that um, dot dot slash. Okay, so now what am I returning? Now what do I return if I just do this X path? Think about it for a second, maybe even stop the video, and then convince yourself that what I'm going to get back is an availability. Okay, so now what if I want, I don't want to get the availability by the, um, the date of the availability, I want to get the availability of this particular movie, M-E-X-P-R. I want the availability, so I'm going to return the availability. So let me start from here. Here's all the availabilities. Now I want only the availability where its parent, which is the movie tag, right? Here's availability down here. Here's its parent movie, where its parent has an ID equal to, oops, not equal to February 2nd, but equal to M-E-X-P-R. Copying that. I'm going to paste it in here. Close that. And now, what am I getting back? I'm getting back the availability, because that's what I asked for. There's the availability, but it's only the availability where its parent's ID was M-E-X-P-R. OK, so now we've combined that parent, that parent sign, dot, dot, slash, with the where clause. 
And that's as far as we're going to go with where clauses right now. Suffice it to say that there's a long way to go with these. There's a lot you can do, but I've already given you enough almost to get through the class with, with, with uh, the use of where clauses. Because the biggest thing we're going to use those where clauses for is to isolate the item whose ID equals the ID that we cite in there.